Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back with my 2016 BMW 535i. This is on the F10 chassis. I'm gonna address some of the little datedness that we have going on on the interior. And what I'm doing today is a pretty simple, should be simple install. I am replacing my start stop button with an aftermarket uh, start stop button that I got off of Amazon, I believe is where I got it. So. Let's just jump into the car and get this done. It should be simple, it should be quick, it should be seamless. So let's do this real quickly. All right guys, well, we're on the inside of my 2016 BMW 535i. And this is the button we're gonna be replacing here, that black start stop button. Um, it's not terrible to look at, but I can feel like the texture of it is changing a little. And I would like to modernize it. What I did was I went on either eBay or Amazon and I bought this replacement. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's called a crystal stop start button. And let me take it out of the packaging. And basically it's a cap that replaces your existing start stop button. And it does have like some reflective capabilities on it. It does look a little more bougie. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to remove the existing one and replace it with this. In the package that comes with this start stop button is like some adhesive. I don't know how strong this is, but I have a workaround in case this doesn't work. I think we can get away with using double-sided tape, 3M double-sided tape because it's pretty strong and I have it to try to yank the button out and then just slip the other one in. All right guys, so I've taken the adhesive that came with the start stop button out of the little protective wrapper and now I'm, you know, squishing it up. And um, what I did is, even though I have my car open, my key is on the inside, so it's far away. So every time I touch the button, it doesn't come on and off. I doubt this is gonna work, but we can try. So if I stick that on here, stick it on and try to get it as good as possible. And then see if I can yank it out with one good, that did not work. Let's try that again. Oh, it came out. It came out. Wow. All right, so I got the existing cap to come off and now it's just a matter of putting in the new one. I'm surprised it came off that quickly. All right, so just comparing the two side by side, you know, this is the original, this is the replacement. Uh, they look to be about the same size, everything. So now I'm just gonna put this new one in and just slide it in. Okay, now that that's there, plug it in. And that's it, it's in. So we're back in the car and we have just turned it on. I like how the button looks. One thing I would note is that the button sits a little higher than the factory button, um, but that's fine. It does have some texture to it. When you turn the car on, you can see the button is backlit. So you can see that the, um, the start engine stop lettering is backlit and then there's like some scripting in the back that makes it look a little good so this crystal button i'll have a link for it down in the description below so you can go to amazon and get it they also sell it on ebay so if you want you can buy it from there it comes in different colors and different styles i just chose to go with this because it looked a little more on the bougie side thanks for checking out the video please click like on the video subscribe to the channel and i will see you on the next one peace